This what y'all want to see, huh? Do you see me? Say goodbye. You better not! Why would I be mad? I told you this game didn't matter. I told you this game didn't matter. I told you if it was up to me, we should rest all the starters. Hey, y'all think I'm going to come out here and break the TV because we lost a meaningless regular season game to the third best team in the SEC West? Why? <laughs> this game didn't even matter. I told you that. I said we ought to let Auburn win just so Gus Malzahn can keep his, can keep his job. Ain't even mad. But, all right, seriously. Uh, <laughs> uh, th there's been two opinions floating around the Georgia fan base this year about, about Georgia's passing game. My opinion, and and a lot of others, about 50-50, we don't have one. <laughs> we don't have a passing game. We're playing a freshman quarterback for the second year in a row. Um, a freshman quarterback who does not have anywhere near the arm talent that last year's freshman quarterback had. Now, this year's freshman has some things that last year's quarterback didn't have. So this isn't a knock Jake Frome thing. Um, but there are certain things you notice this year about Georgia's passing offense if you actually pay attention to the games and don't just read a box score. Okay. Number one, Jake Frome cannot throw the ball over the middle. Well... Let me take that back. Jake Fromm Jake From doesn't throw the ball over the middle. No way for me to know if he can or not because he never does it. Most of Jake Fromm's big plays have been on plays where, I'm just being real here, plays where he basically closes his eyes, chunks the ball down the sideline, and crosses his fingers that Javon Wilms can jump up and catch it. 99% of our pass plays this year are to where? The sideline. Uncle Lou, where's our tight ends this year? Where's Isaac Nauta and Jeb Blazevich and Charlie Werner? These guys were, were good last year. This year they don't even have five or six catches combined. Well, where do tight ends do their do their damage? Where do tight ends work? Over the middle. Right? What does it take to throw the ball over the middle? A strong arm, right? I'm not knocking from. I'm ju I'm just saying what is what I've seen all year long. That's all I'm saying. Okay? So people ask me, and I've, I've said it on video a bunch of times, what worries you? What worries me is, what happens when we play a team that shuts down Georgia's run game? What happens? The other half of the fan base tells me this. We're hiding, we're hiding our offense, Lou. We're hiding half our offense. Yeah, I know it's nine, ten weeks into the season, Lou. But why throw it when we don't have to, Lou? Why should we throw the ball when we don't have to? Why should we let other teams see what Frome should do before we have to? First of all, I'm not blaming this loss on Frome either, okay? We got dominated on both sides of the ball, okay? Auburn's offense dominated uh, our defensive front. And Auburn's defensive front dominated our offensive front. We we ran the ball for, what, 40 yards in this game or something? I mean, it, we got dominated. Um, penalties, uh, not the ref's fault either. UGA's fault. Penalty after penalty after penalty. Dumb penalties. Now, none of those things is the reason why we lost the game. It, it's a combination of all those things. We got, we got outplayed, outworked. 
Auburn wanted the game more. Auburn showed up to play. We didn't. All those things are true. Auburn just dominated. This isn't Jake Fromm's fault or the offensive line's fault or the defense's fault or Nicole Hardman's fault uh, or, or, or anything else. Georgia got completely worked today, okay? But this just brings up a bigger point that, that I've been talking about all year, okay? That this infatuation with freshman quarterbacks, right? Eason, now this year we play Frome. We've already signed Fields for next year, so, you know, there's already people now. we got to put Fields in. Yep, Fields is the answer. And then and now they, they blame Chaney now. Chaney was a genius until an hour ago, you know, when we were 9-0 and and running for 350 yards a game. Chaney was a genius. Now he doesn't know what he's doing. Listen, what do you want Chaney to do? He's working with first-year quarterbacks, okay? Well, what do you want him to do? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't get it. And they say, well, how, how do you expect Frome to complete passes when he's running for his life in this game? Well, Eason was running for his life in every single game last year. No one cared. <laughs> you know? He threw for 2,500 yards. You know? So... Yeah, Frome was running for his life today. There was also several occasions where he held on to the ball too long. He has a hard time reading defenses, progressing from uh, receiver to receiver. Uh, you know, again, nothing against Frome. These are typical freshmen. You, you see this, this type of thing with freshmen, which is why some people thought maybe Eason should have been playing this year. I don't know. But it's it in the end of the world. No, Uncle Lou's not mad. No, I'm not breaking the TV. Sorry to disappoint all y'all that tuned in uh, to see that. I'm not mad. Uh, you know, it, l listen, the, the times when I broke the TV and showed out in here, that's been when we've lost in the last second of games, Miracle Hail Marys, or lost games that really we had no business losing, you know, to terrible teams like Vanderbilt or Georgia Tech. Auburn was a good team. I mean, they were eight tenth for a reason. Uh, you know, you can you can type in the comment section, well, oh, Uncle Lou said you were going to win. Uncle Lou said Auburn was trash. Yeah, but hello, I, you know, everyone's trash. If we were playing the Patriots, I'd say they were trash. This is a trash talk channel. It's just what I do. So there's no reason for me to be upset or mad at this game. We got blown out. We got dominated on both sides of the ball. Special teams was a disaster. Offense, disaster. Uh, defense, disaster. Uh, oh, into the first half, we get the ball <clears throat> just on the other side of midfield, right? 40 seconds to go and no timeouts. That's an eternity in college football. The clock stops for a first down, stops with incomplete pass, stops if you go out of bounds, all these kind of things, right? What do we do? Run it up the middle one time and kick a field goal. Why? Coaches don't trust Jake Frome to throw the ball. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Again, none of this is anything against Jake Frome. He's a freshman. He's done everything you could have asked a freshman to, to do. Uh, but Georgia fans or, or people in general who thought that UGA was somehow intentionally hiding half its offense for the first 10 weeks of the season, is this what we were hiding, what I just saw now? Is that what we were hiding? Uh, no, we weren't hiding anything. We, we, were, we, we were playing the cards we had. Uh, which was an elite running game, as long as you play in a team that you can run against, okay? Uh, it's not Cheney's fault. It's not Frome's fault. It's not any one, it's no one particular person's fault. UJ got dominated in this game by a better team, period. Uh, by a better team. I, I mean, there's, there's just nothing else to say. There, there, there's, there's nothing else to, uh, to say about it. Um, you know, all year long, when we were up 40 and 50 points on these trash can teams, I kept saying every single day of the week, why aren't we throwing the ball more? Why aren't we throwing the ball more? Frome's a freshman. He needs experience. He needs, you know, he needs, there, there's looks he's never seen. There's blitzes he's never seen. There's fronts he's never seen. There's, there's, blitz, there's stunts and all this kind of stuff he's never seen. This guy should be throwing the ball way more than 12 times a game. You know, and people said, well, and that's when you would hear the, why throw it if we don't have to, Lou? We're hiding our offense. Why show other teams what we have? The coaches know what he can do. They see him in practice. He lit it up in high school, Lou. I saw him play in high school, Lou. He can do it, Lou. Yeah, okay. Bryce Ramsey threw the ball in high school, too. I, I'm not comparing from to Ramsey. I'm just saying. It, 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 you got a freshman. He saw things today he's never seen before against the best defense he's ever seen in his life okay all you people that think georgia high school football is like the third best nfl conference in america 
uh, wake up, okay? He didn't see anything like what he saw today when he was playing high school football in Georgia, I promise you. And that's why I think he just should have been given way more opportunities in some of these blowouts uh, than 12, 13 passes a game, okay? Uh, you know, handing the ball off 100 times is great when you have a 30-point lead, but when you have a freshman quarterback who, who's, who's really the only thing that the kid is lacking is experience and you're not giving him any, to me that's a problem. So I, I'm more upset really about how this game played out than I am the outcome uh, of the game. Uh, some people kept saying during the game, we need to put Easton in, we need to put Easton in. That, that ship has sailed, you, you know. Um, I, I was on that train the first half of the season, but once we got to 5-0, and 6-0, and 7-0, and it, it was clear to see that wasn't going to happen. I mean, it, you know, if we'd have put Easton in and lost the game, that would have been it for Kirby. He never would have recovered from that. He would have got just absolutely murdered by the media and fans and everybody else. So the ship has sailed on Easton. Forget about that. Um, you know, we are what, what we are. Uh, we got we got uh, Kentucky coming up. That's an easy win because we can run the ball on them. We got Georgia Tech after that. That's an easy win because we can run the ball on them. Uh, if UGA and the coaches want to make any sort of serious attempt at winning the SEC this year, no matter who we end up playing, whether it's Auburn or Alabama, then they'll let Frome come out against Kentucky and Georgia Tech and throw 50 passes a game. Nothing, I mean, come on, y'all watch that game. And this is what I've been telling you all year, and mainly Georgia fans. I, I, don't, I don't typically do this on YouTube. Usually on YouTube, I'm, you know, Georgia's going to kill you 100 to nothing. We're the greatest ever, yada, yada, yada. And then when I'm talking to just Georgia fans is when I'll, you know, be real. And, and I tried to tell them, look, we're going to play teams where we're not just going to line up and run the ball down their throat. You're going to have to be able to throw the ball, you know. And that's when they would tell me, I, I, I seen him play in high school, Lou. He knows how to fish, Lou. Talking about Jake Frome. I seen him play in high school, Lou. He can do it, Lou. I'm not, and, and I'll tell him, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm saying I haven't seen it, you know? And then we're hiding our offense, Lou. We're, we're not hiding it, okay? We were, if anything, we were covering up our weaknesses, which is what we did last year to a certain degree. But if the Georgia coaches are serious about wanting to try to win an SEC championship this year, regardless of who we end up playing, whether it's Auburn or Alabama, they'll let Throne throw, throw the ball 50 times a game the next two games. It may be too late for this year, and we may just not have the ability this year. I mean, that, that, that is a possibility, believe it or not. It is possible that Georgia's just not good enough to beat Auburn or Alabama. But what I saw today confirms what I have been saying all year long, which is... When you play a legitimate defense that can stop the run, you have to be able to pass the ball. And nothing I've seen from Georgia all year showed me that we would be able to do that. Some fans just said, wait, you'll see it when it's time. You'll see it when it's time. Well, I saw it today and uh, wasn't impressed with what I saw. Um, I don't want to hear that he didn't have time. Uh, or, or, or whatever that's what people are saying. Look, I get it, but a lot of times you don't have a lot of time to sit back there and throw the ball. you got to make up your mind and get rid of it. He took some sacks today where he held on to the ball too long. He looked indecisive. Um, you know, listen, say whatever you want about Georgia's offensive line this year. It's light years ahead of what we had last year, okay? Last year, our offensive line was probably the worst I've seen in 25 years at Georgia. Jacob Eason was literally running for his life the entire season, okay? Did he, did he have some interceptions? Yeah, he had 16 touchdowns and 8 interceptions, okay? But he was also throwing the ball 25 times a game as opposed to Jake Fromm, who's throwing it 9 or 10 times a game. He also had 2,500 yards last year, all right? Fromm's on pace for about 1,600. So it's a give and take. Like I said, Eason's got some things that Fromm doesn't have. Fromm's got some things that Eason doesn't have. We didn't lose this game because Fromm played instead of Eason. There, like I said, there is no one reason. Auburn dominated all sides of the ball. But if you're a Georgia fan and you're looking for improvement to at least make a game against Auburn or Alabama in the SEC title game competitive, which this was not, we got ran off the field, then the coaches the coaches need to trust Frome. If, if, if Frome is your quarterback, you've got to trust him. So it's either got to be on the coaches or on Frome going forward when we play at the next team 
that, that has a legitimate run defense. You've got to let the guy throw the ball. You, I mean, you just have to. Over the middle, you know, every pass we throw can't be a back shoulder fade down the sideline because you're afraid of, 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 of it getting intercepted. It just can't be. Teams figured out. I mean, I, I'm an idiot with a with a camera phone and a YouTube account, and I'm able to figure that out from watching the games. I'm pretty sure opposing coaches are able to figure out. You know what? I just realized Georgia don't throw over the middle, so this stuff's not hard to figure out. So anyway, like I said, not mad about the loss. Just sort of irritated with the way it played out. Uh, Georgia played sloppy, no doubt about it. Again, that's not why we lost. Stupid penalties, turnovers. Um, you know, Auburn, it, it seemed like, you know, any, any, any bounce went Auburn's way today. Um, again, that's not why we lost. Auburn was the better team and dominated us. I'm just saying, uh, from beginning to end, this was just a terrible game for UGA. Okay. And, uh, if, if you want to have any shot at doing anything this year, other than just winning the East, you, you got to develop a passing game. You, you're not going to beat these elite teams with a one dimensional offense. It's just not going to happen. Um, to anybody that might say, uh, Georgia's overrated, Georgia choked again, Georgia this, Georgia that. Well, you're wrong about that. Georgia was picked to win the East, and that's it this year. And so far, we've won the East. We could lose, we, we could lose to Kentucky, Tech, the SEC championship game, and the bowl game. We still would have met expectations this year. So, no, we didn't underachieve this year. So, find another team. Florida State can be your under underachiever this year, but it's not UGA. Uh... But UJ got a lot of work to do uh, if they want to compete uh, with, with, with these teams with elite defenses because one-dimensional offense is just not getting it done. I could talk for another hour, uh, but why? What's the point? Uh, yeah, uh, so I, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll try to collect myself if I can and I'll talk to you again in the morning. Uh, have a great day, too, also and as well.